Okay, so we're gonna move up a tier with this next one. Number 12, software engineering. So for software engineering, demand is expected 12? to go up. Wow, I was not expecting it to be number 12. That is crazy. For computer oh, engineering, wow. job growth looks like it's gonna go up by 5%. The average salary is 131,000 a year. The number of credit hours you have to take is 112. And the highest level of math is wow. ordinary different. Only 112 credit hours? What's going on everybody, man? It's Jovan E.N. I'm an electronics engineer. And today I'm gonna to be looking at the engineering degrees ranked in a tier list from S tier to D tier. And I'm gonna give my experience on it because since I am an engineer, I have an optical engineering degree and I'm getting an electronics engineering degree right now. I think I know <laughs> um, which degree should be S or D or I have an idea, but I'm gonna you know watch it and see what I think about this tier list. So without wasting any more time, Let's get into hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna rank every engineering degree from least difficult all the way to the most difficult. And along with that, I'm gonna oh show God. the average pay and future demand for each degree. So if you're still trying to figure out what degree you wanna study, this is the video you wanna watch. Let's go. I love that he's ranking them from difficulty because I would say it depends on what you define as difficult. If it's math and physics focused, I would say, yeah, that would probably be considered more difficult. But if you're looking at, if you have a hard time building things or working outside, then that can determine if it's difficult. But let's get into it. So I know this topic is a bit controversial, right? Every engineer likes to think that their discipline is the hardest one out there. But I think that this is probably gonna be the most objective ranking that you're gonna find anywhere. And that's because I've based my ranking on actual data, right? Average GPA average length of time it takes to graduate, highest level of math required, and the average amount of credits required for each degree. And just so you know, some of this data was not easily accessible, right? You can't just Google this stuff. So it took me quite a while to kind of dig and piece together this ranking, which is why I say this is gonna be the most objective and accurate list you're gonna find anywhere. So with that, let's jump right into it. So we're gonna start at the least difficult and then work our way all the way to the most difficult engineering degree. Okay, so let's kick things off with spot number 16, manufacturing engineering. So with manufacturing engineering, it looks like there's gonna be 14% job growth. The average salary is 85,000 a year. The normal amount of credit hours it takes is 123 and the highest math required is calculus two. So as you can see, manufacturing engineering has a good demand. So if you're interested in process development, tool design, and failure analysis, this degree might be one you wanna look into. So I've ranked it at number 16 because you don't have to go as high in math, the credit hours are a little bit lower, and the subject material is just a lot less complex than a lot of the other engineering degrees. I'm not really sure I know what manufacturing engineering is because when you think of a manufacturing engineer, you think of someone who builds things. And I would believe that manufacturer engineer falls within a discipline of engineering, such as you could be a manufacturing engineer under electrical engineer, or you could be a manufacturing engineer under civil engineering or mechanical engineering. But hey, that probably explains why it's ranked last. So moving on to number 15, we have industrial engineering. So for industrial I engineering, it looks like there's gonna be 12% job growth. The average salary is 85,000. The average number of credit hours is 122 and the highest level of math that you have to take is ordinary differential equations. So industrial engineering is another really good choice if you wanna get an engineering degree while avoiding some of the most difficult material, right? So if you're really into pulling value out of big data sets and building software tools, this one might be for you. And so I've ranked it at number 15 because on average, industrial engineering students are able to graduate within four years, which is pretty quick for an engineering degree. Moving on to number 14 on our list, we have civil engineering. So for civil engineering, demand oh, is projected to go up by wow. 7%. The average salary is 89,000. The normal amount of credit hours it takes to graduate is 127. And the highest level of math is ordinary differential equations. You know, I kind of agree with this because I was a civil engineer intern um, a few years back before I decided to do um, optics and electronics. And it's definitely not as flat out difficult as the physics or the math or the coding based engineering majors. I would just say though, you have to work outside. So if you don't mind working with your hands or working outside, definitely go down this route. And in the other majors of engineering, it's a lot more theoretical versus in civil, it's a lot less theoretical. So you're actually building things or working with 
real thing. So it's not naturally as difficult. Civil engineering is another great choice. It'll always have solid demand, right? So if you're interested in bridges, infrastructure, buildings, roads, tunnels, this one's for you. And so I've ranked it at the 14th most difficult because according to the data, 55% of civil engineering students are able to graduate within four years, which is a lot higher than most other degrees. For 13, we have environmental engineering. So for environmental engineering, demand is projected to go up by 7%. The average salary is 90,000. The total number of credit hours you have to take is 123, and the highest level of math is calculus three. So if you're interested in the environment, working with the environment, you know, developing systems that protect the environment, this one's for you. So I've ranked it at number 13 because you only have to go to Calculus 3 and about half of all students are able to graduate within four years. Okay, so we're gonna move up a tier with this next one. Number 12, Software Engineering. So for Software Engineering, demand is expected 12? to go up. Wow, I was not expecting it to be number 12. That is crazy. Well, actually, I'm trying to think of 10 engineering majors harder than Software Engineering. I can list a few because let's say you are computer engineering, you have to know software and hardware. So that's naturally harder. And that goes into majority of engineering majors where you have to be good with both software and hardware. But I don't think I could list, uh, list 10 or 11 full majors harder than this. By 25%, the uh, average salary is 123,000 a year. The credit hours is 122, and the highest level of math is ordinary differential equations. I shouldn't have to sell you on the opportunity of software engineering, right? Even with the advent of artificial intelligence, uh, software engineering is still projected to be super strong in the coming years. So if you're into coding and creating useful and entertaining software, this one's for you. I have it ranked at number 12 because the average number of credit hours is less than a lot of the other degrees. So that means that a lot of students are able to graduate within four years. Next up, coming in at number 11, we have computer engineering. So for computer oh, engineering, wow. job growth looks like it's going to go up by 5%. The average salary is 131000 a year. The number of credit hours you have to take is 112. And the highest level of math is wow. ordinary difference. Only 112 credit hours? So usually for, I thought all engineers took upwards of 130 credit hours to graduate, but 112, that's really low. Differential wow. equations. So it looks like computer engineering has the biggest return on investment, right? It has the highest salary on this list, and it's still one of the less difficult degrees. So if you're interested in electronic design, right, hardware and software development, then this one's for you. So I've ranked it at number 11 because 45% of computer engineering students are able to graduate within four years, and the average GPA is 3.37, which is pretty high for engineering. Next up, coming in at number 10, we have petroleum engineering. So for petroleum engineering, oh, wow. the demand is That's expected low. to go up by 8%. The average salary is 115,000 a year. The credit hours required is 125, and the highest level of math is ordinary differential equations. So petroleum engineering is a really specific degree, right? So if you're interested in the extraction and refinement of oil, or maybe you live somewhere where this is a big industry, this might be one worth looking into. And so this is another one where you can earn quite a bit of money while avoiding some of the most difficult engineering courses, which is why I've ranked it at number 10. But you're gonna to have to move to places where this is in demand. So if you do decide to do petroleum engineering for the money and avoid courses, just know that you won't be able to work in a lot of states because a lot of states don't specialize in petroleum engineering. Uh, places that do, I believe, are Texas, Alaska, maybe Midwest, you can do petroleum engineering, but if you wanna live in San Francisco or California or Seattle or DC, it's going to be hard to find a petroleum engineering job that you enjoy that gives you a lot of flexibility. So yeah, you'll be able to avoid engineering courses, but just know you'll be limited to a city or a state if you do choose this. So for this next one, we're going to move up a tier and we're going to start off with number nine, biomedical engineering. So for biomedical oh, wow. engineering, it looks like there's going to be 10% growth. The average salary is 90,000. The credit hours required is 124, and the highest level of math is ordinary differential equations. So biomedical is another one with super strong job growth and pretty reasonable pay. So if you know biology, developing medical equipment, and doing research is what you're interested in, this one's right up your alley. So I've ranked it at the ninth most difficult because 42% of students are able to graduate within four years, and the average GPA is 3.3. Next up, we have electrical engineering coming in at the eighth most B tier? I thought it would be at least S tier. Wow, I thought it was S tier. Jesus. 
That's low. Typical engineering degree. So for electrical, demand is supposed to go up by 7%. The average salary is 112,000. The credits required is 122. And the highest level of math is ordinary differential equations. So electrical engineering is another degree with super good demand and solid, solid pay. So if you're interested in electrical circuits, radio frequency and power transmission, then this is for you. Maybe I'm being biased, but I thought it would be higher because electrical engineering, you are doing both theoretical and hardware design. So with well, theoretical, I mean, you're working with atoms, electrons, photons, all that. And you have to work with hardware. I thought, honestly, it would be S tier. I'm trying to think of what is harder then electronic maybe chemical maybe chemical engineering possibly i don't know so i've ranked it at the eighth most difficult because 40 percent of students graduate within four years and the average gpa is 3.25 coming in at number seven we have a mechanical engineering so for mechanical engineering future demand is expected to grow by 10 percent the average salary is 102,000, and the normal amount of credit hours you have to take is 125 and the highest level of math is partial differential equations, which is the highest level of math for any engineering degree. So mechanical yeah. engineering is by far the most studied engineering discipline, but you shouldn't let that deter you because demand is still really high and the pay is pretty strong. So mechanical engineering is a really good choice if you want to have really solid education in several different disciplines, right? They're kind of a jack of all trades. They learn a lot about software engineering, robotics, you know, energy transfer and structural Aerospace. design. And so because of that, you know, mechanical engineers tend to uh, be qualified for a lot larger array of jobs than most other engineering degrees. And so I've ranked mechanical at the seventh most difficult because the average GPA is 3.2, the high level of math required, and only 40% of students graduate within four years. So it seems like his ranking is determined on what the average GPA is. So the lower the average GPA, his reasoning is that that's the harder engineering major. Um, I understand his logic behind that. I don't really agree, um, considering I've I haven't technically studied mechanical engineering, but I've studied electronics engineering, and I would say the hardest is what will be the hardest to understand, or what would be the hardest to teach to someone. I think mechanical engineering, since it doesn't dive too deep into the way atoms work, I can't consider it harder than electronics engineering. Because in order to be an electronics engineer, you are working with electricity. So you need to understand that on a deeper level. And you need to understand the hardware on a deeper level. And you also need to know how to code and do all that, which you don't necessarily have to do in mechanical engineering. However, I'm kind of nitpicking. <laughs> I think we're all or every engineer will put their degree higher because that's just the nature of how engineers think. We all think our degree is the hardest. But let's continue. All right, so we're gonna move up a tier and start off with rank number six, mining engineering. So for mining engineering, the demand is expected to grow by 0%. The average salary <laughs> okay. is 85,000. The number of credits you have to take is 121, and the highest level of math is ordinary differential equations. So mining, mining engineering, engineering can be a good choice, you know, if you're willing to travel and live in some remote areas, but you know, the growth and pay are pretty, you know, weak compared to some of the other engineering degrees. But I have to say that mining is a pretty unique education, right? So if geology is your thing and you really, you know, get off like on creating systems to, you know, better extract useful materials from the earth, then this is your degree. And so I have it ranked at number six because only 19% of students are able to graduate within four years. Oh my Next God. up at the fifth most difficult engineering degree, we have metallurgical engineering. So for metallurgical engineering, the demand is expected to grow by 6%. I never even heard of that, so that probably is pretty hard. The average salary is 83,000. The credit hours you have to take is 126. And the highest level of math is ordinary differential equations. So metallurgical engineering has pretty solid demand, but the pay is still kind of lacking, right? So, you know, when we get to this level in the list, you're getting into the more difficult degrees and you kind of want to weigh everything appropriately. But, you know, if metals are your thing, if the extraction, refinement, you know, testing and, you know, development of new metallic uh, materials is your thing, then this is your degree. So pretty similar to mining engineering with this one, you're gonna get into some pretty high level thermodynamics and chemistry with metallurgical engineering. So I think that's why only 18% of students graduate within four years, which is why I have it ranked at the fifth most difficult engineering degree. Okay, so last up in this A tier, we have number four, materials engineering. So for materials- Materials engineering? So basically with materials engineering, you're studying what materials can be used 
in other fields of engineering, basically material science. So what material is used for this? What material is used for that? What does this material do? How does it do this? What are its properties? And I'm not going to lie, it is pretty difficult. It's a pretty fun major. But I don't... Okay, okay. I respect it. I respect it. I respect Materials it. engineering demand is projected to go up by 5%. The average salary is 104000 The number of credits you have to take is 125 And the highest level of math is partial differential equations. So it looks like, you know, for materials engineering, the demand is, is okay. Uh, the pay is pretty strong. But, you know, this is one of the more difficult degrees. So as a materials engineering student, you're going to really dive deep into how materials behave from an electrical, you know, structural and kinematic standpoint. So if that's your thing, then you might want to look into this one. So I ranked it at number four due to the really high level math and physics courses required and only 30% of students are able to graduate within four years. I don't think that's harder than mechanical engineering and, and biomed. I don't think it's harder than biomedical and mechanical engineering though, but I understand his ranking. Okay, so let's move up to the highest tier and kick things off with the third most difficult engineering degree, chemical engineering. So for chemical engineering, the job demand Respect. looks to be uh, pretty strong, growing at 14%. The average salary is 91,000. The number of credits you have to take is 125. And the highest level of math is ordinary differential equations. So it looks like uh, chemical engineering has pretty solid demand and pretty decent pay. So if chemistry, yeah. you know, chemical processes and energy transfer are what interest you, then this might be the degree for you. So I've ranked chemical engineering at spot number three for a couple reasons. First of all, chemistry is a very non-exact science, right? It's pretty ambiguous uh, when you yeah. compare it to physics and mathematics, right? So it's inherently a little bit more difficult to grasp. And obviously in chemical engineering, you're going to be learning a ton of chemistry. And so the other reason I haven't ranked at number three is the data shows that only 30% of students graduate within four years. And the average amount of time it does take to graduate is 4.7 years. Okay, so we've made it to the second most. Let me guess, nuclear engineering probably, because all the sciences are pretty difficult. I'm not even gonna Difficult lie. engineering degree, and that is aerospace engineering. So for aerospace engineering, demand is expected to grow by 7%. The average salary is 112,000. The normal number of credit hours you have to take is 127. And the highest level of math is partial differential equations. So aerospace engineering looks to have pretty decent job growth and solid pay. So, you know, I would say if you are considering aerospace engineering, definitely research where aerospace engineers work because you cannot work everywhere if you're an aerospace engineer. You have to find a place that employs aerospace engineers like SpaceX, NASA, maybe a defense contractor you can work at for aerospace engineering. And also I would say if you're considering going to the aerospace or aeronautical engineering route, Make sh you can also consider mechanical engineering because you can learn certain disciplines that apply to aerospace engineer as a mechanical engineer, and that will give you more job flexibility. But do your own research regarding that. So if you're into airplanes, satellites, rockets, right? Anything that's in the air or in space, aerospace is your jam. So I've ranked it at number two due to the high math and credit requirements, and also because it takes students on average 4.8 years to graduate. And at number one, the most difficult engineering degree, we have nuclear engineering. So for nuclear engineering, demand yeah. is expected to grow by 0%. The average salary is 97,000. The amount of credits you have to take is 129. And the highest level of math is partial differential equations. So it looks like the job growth is pretty stagnant for this one, but the pay seems to be pretty strong. So, you know, even though it's really difficult, um, if you're interested in power production and nuclear research, then this might be one worth looking into. You know, if I were to choose a degree or you know a discipline that I just wanted to know more about it would be nuclear engineering because it just seems super interesting to me. I've ranked nuclear at number one the most difficult engineering degree because it requires the highest level of understanding in math, chemistry, thermodynamics, and mechanical system design. Yeah, and it also the average amount of time it takes to graduate is 4.8 years which was the longest of the degrees I was able to find data for. There you have it. You know, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Yeah, his top few, his top few were pretty accurate. Once it got to the mining engineering and all that, I didn't really know that was a thing, but of course it is. Also, aeronautical or, or aerospace engineering, that's pretty difficult because you have to understand the thermodynamics and dynamics of a plane as well as mechanical system design. So. Yeah, it, it makes sense. Let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know if you have any questions for me, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.